Welcome back to V-League, the, the uh, Southeast Asian Club Invitational here at the arena in San Juan. And this match is between Ateneo de Manila University against Vietnam. And Vietnam winning that second set as well. And there are the numbers in terms of attacks. 15 to 9, blocking 3 to 1. Service 4 to 3. Errors, both teams actually minimize their errors at 3 apiece. But clearly still the reception of... Vietnam working for them, able to implement plays, able to get the attacks. Alam mo kulang na mga sa atin na dito reception na consistent eh. Uh, there's an example of it right there. Which is what Coach Roger kept stressing. Yeah, look at the reception here of the Vietnamese and off a check from Eliza Valdez. Another score there for Martinova. 1-0 Vietnam here in set number three. Poker face but to see Martinova. Uh, baka marunong din. <laughs> Lazaro, Ferrer, trying to sneak that one in. Bui, Pam, <laughs> trying to sneak that one in also. Eliza, denied, kept it alive. Ferrer, tough luck there. Here's Valdez. Here's Pam now, back set, Martinova. And Eliza is angry at herself because she knew exactly what was going to happen next. Na late lang siya. And you know, not... She's not only tall. When she goes up, and talagang... She's like... <laughs> Pero hindi na ang mahang time. time eh. Yung mahang time talaga eh, itong si Trevnay. Eh. Mm, that's right. And if it's fun family pizza, it's gotta be shaky. So right now, itong si Tran on the serve. Hervasio. Another free ball from Ateneo. Across right now, and that's a check ball. Well, oh, no check ball. Sumenyas ng check ball eh. So, referee uh, Efren Ga overruled. Well, it did happen in front of uh, referee Efren Ga. Right. They go across. Great day by Lazaro. Phil Gay collapses in front of the medical table. Aim for effort. <laughs> I'm sorry, pasipil kayo let sa mga medic. 3 to 1 right now. Boy, Lazaro is just doing her best, but it's just a lot of power coming from Vietnamese. But that's really good training for her. Right. Martinova. This time Valdez gets to it. Here's Hervasio. Kept alive there. Here's uh, Nguyen. Going to Nguyen. A green connection. <laughs> So Nguyen Thi Nguyen going to Nguyen Thi Huong. Well, you know what's nice about this Vietnamese, Vietnamese squad? Even the locals, the, Viet, the local Vietnamese players, they're really playing very well. Right. I'd like to see Coach Alexei Diva pull out the two Russians later just to see what they're made of, really, the Vietnamese locals. Yeah, but I really doubt it because it's just a first game. Right. It's their first game. I'm sure the Russians would like to get them into the, the game. One thing one scoring once again, timeout, Roger Goraev. Let's take a look at this last play once again. Ayan na, ang kanilang uh, puntos galing na kay Nguyen uh, Ting Wan. Here's Martinova. Winting one, winting two, but it's not spot alert. Three ball given up by Dao. Ferrer. Hervasio, yes! That's what everyone should actually try to emulate. Hervasio, he's just playing with a lot of heart. Right, Gretchen Ho now back in the front line here. Phil Kainglet asking Jim Ferrer to step back. Here's Charo Soriano. Charo going back to that jump serve. Pam going to win. Ferrer. Charo says mine. Eliza says thank you. That should break Ateneo up again. Right. But ito, medyo maaga itong ginagawa ng Ateneo yung paghahapon. 
take a look at it, Eliza Valdez, like a cat springing up. And then she's now earning the respect slowly of her Vietnamese counterparts. Here's Chana once again. But Tanya should take advantage advantage that both Russian players are not in front. Right. Back set, Hervasho. Now you can see the players of uh, this Vietnamese, Vietnamese squad looking a little rattled, at least a bit. Inihintay na nila bumalik yung dalawang Russian sa harapan. In fact, I think... Oh, Terenay is not even in the lineup right now. It's Dao who's taken her place there. Here's Pam. And Martin Yoko will find the line. And Charo says, ayo ko na. Ando na si Charo, hindi pa niya naabutan. Even from the back. Uh, I mean, is this what you came out of retirement to do? <laughs> to be plastered by a Russian. And uh, down the middle goes Valdez. That was supposed to be a running attack there for Gretchen Ho. Martinova again. Tanglet gets to it. Eliza saves it. And Gretchen Ho. Eliza almost lost her footing there. Uh -huh. oh, hit down the line. Why did Eliza Valdez, she actually ran into our cameraman right there. I wish we could get that angle. Oh, that's right. And as she was running into the court, she tripped over something on the floor. <laughs> cable, one of the camera cables. 7-4, to four, Vietnam. And Pam with the service. Kain Lep. Oh, they were surprised that Phil Kain Lep came out of nowhere to hit that one. Well, they can't, you know, Phil can do that. Her Vasha can do that. Right. Eliza, of course. Eliza, of course, yeah. Now Eliza to put it in play once again. A bad reception. That's a rarity there coming from front feed one. And Eliza Valdez gets the service ace. It is just a one-point lead for Vets of Petro. Now this is the Ateneo we're used to seeing. The fight for the Eagles squad and coach Alexei Diva still electing to keep her eye on the bench. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Again, the Saturday night right here at the arena as the uh, Southeast Asian V-League, Southeast Asian Club Invitational, got to close in the elimination round. At the now, they saw the Philippine Army as the two Philippine teams clash. And Vietz of Petro taking on Malaysia. Let's send it over now to Rina Villapoy. Nasa kasahan ka pa kanina ni Eliza? No, hindi naman. Pero yung cameraman natin, oh, nasa kasahan. Now, let's never say die battle for these two teams right now. More so with the Lady Eagles who wanted to very badly uh, get this third set. Now, it all boils down to consistency for them. Coach Rogers said na hindi naman sila dapat ma-pressure na maipanalo ang larong ito. They got to take it point for point and just be more aggressive. And to quote uh, Coach Roger earlier, he said that don't let anyone play with the heart of a bird. Instead, uh, you guys. Oh, look at that take there from Benton Lazaro. Martinova now being denied from her back row attacks. Dang. So the teenager scores once again, the 17-year-old. Well, you got, at eight. That's right, you gotta give, give credit to the to the to, to Lazarus tenacity. Oh, oh, oh. To see is it then the Lazarus? That's what you want to see in your libero. It doesn't matter how powerful the attack is, she will still go for it. Eliza with the reception. Hervaso. Gretchen Hart. And the lead goes back to Vietzov Petro. Now there's a tentative hit there by Gretchen. No, actually last minute. Ah, okay, I'll hit it. Uh, <laughs> Sa kanya napunta. Tandaan mo siya yung centro din dito. Ha? So, she really has her work cut out for her against a very tall squad. Good reception there from Eliza. Now, then the Lazaro has to give it up and she gives up a high free ball. Martinova now. Here's Pam on the setup for Dow. Eliza. Going to Ferrer. Going to Kain Let. Oh! win. Very smart hit by Kain Let. She really went for that angle. At yan ang hilig dito si Phil Kainglet. If that the uh, blockers are taller, she will put it off the hands. Gulat na gulat. Itong si Nguyen Ting Wan. I think she is the captain actually nitong kupunan ng uh, Vietz of Petro. 
Carvasso, dying serve. Tam. Going to Tam. Tag up there by Carvasso. Find left, left there by Tao. Lazaro says, I'll set it up for Phil. Phil on the angle. Martinova is there. Tam. On the side. That was just too fast. Quick hit there coming from the captain. 21. 10 to 9. Very close third set here. Vets of Petro has taken the lead once again. And we have yet to see the return of Anastasia Tratnai. Well, the, the Russian coach actually heard you. <laughs> I mean, I the number. Staying left cannot get it through. 11 to 9 right now. Now, this is actually a new Someone player else. once again. Yes. Kapasok dito. Ito si Nguyen Huyen Trang. So, Nguyen Huyen Trang. Get used to that name again. Nguyen Huyen Trang. Nguyen Huyen Trang. <laughs> Here's the captain. Nguyen Ting Wan. Here's Ferrer going for Kang Lep. And Kang Lep denied that it'll go out. And that block from Tran T. Luan. So at the nail down by one again. 11 to 10. Chara Soriano back in the front line now for the Lady Eagles. Well, you know, good news for the Lady Eagles. Axel is the official outfit of the Shakey's really glad they're in. Yeah, good news for them is you can see like players like Phil Kaing Lep. They have their bit of confidence right. in how they're playing. Service is long from Gretchen Hall. Huh? So 12 to 10. Two-point lead for Vietz of Petro. They have a two sets to nothing lead here against Ateneo, but Ateneo is actually showing a lot of character here. Down on the serve. Ferreira on the attack. Dug up that time. They go to Tran. Two near Martinova. Oh, Lassero has a sense of mind to get it across immediately. Martinova, yes! Don't you just love the reaction of this uh, Ateneo squad? Every time they make an error, yeah. they get their hands on the ball. They're going to smile in the light, but... Well, they know that this is a big part of their training. And, and the more they're exposed to this, especially to my international teams, this helps them in their quest for UAAP Championship. Great lead by Arvasho as the serve by Dao goes long. Dao Tibai. He's not Tibai that time. <laughs> che Che. A.K.A. Phil St. Merced Kainglet, nicknamed Cheche, to serve. Thou, win, denied there by uh, Valdez, Tran, Kainglet gets a hand on it, buys enough time for Lazaro to get to it, Ferrari will give up the free ball. Here's Win going the other way for Tran, Tran till one. Scoring once again, she's the third leading scorer of this team. Probably now the second leading scorer. Matagal na po nakaupo itong si uh, Anastasia Trednay. 